friends. Happy Wednesday. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you guys had a wonderful Easter weekend. In today's video, I think it's going to be a very fun video because we are going to go over a lot of things here today. We're going to go over my new design style and boy, have I found one that excites me. Then I'm going to go over some new Amazon finds that will correlate with that new design style. And I'm gonna show you how I style these pieces. Then I'm gonna share with you some new things I've done in this house. So join me. So you guys, I sat here in the house last week and I was looking around at all the white walls. And I have always told myself, oh, I can't stand white walls. I need color. No, I don't. No, no, no. I initially said when we moved into this house, oh, we are going to have to get some paint on the walls. But no, I don't think I'm going to need to. You see, I have come across a style that has so inspired me and it takes me back to my childhood. What is that style? It's Santa Barbara design style. That's what I'm calling it. And I grew up in Santa Barbara, California. I feel like Santa Barbara is one of the most beautiful places in all of California. They refer to it as the American French Riviera. It's just gorgeous. And if you haven't been to Santa Barbara, the style there is Spanish colonial Mediterranean style. And I know you guys are like, Liz, where are you going with this? When I think about Santa Barbara style, and the, the whole reason this came about is I styled, we went to Virginia over the weekend, we brought our furniture back, I started playing with different arrangements and I started styling this one table. And as I stood back, the sun was setting, I had my candles on and I thought, you know what that reminds me of? And my husband said, what? I said, Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara, it's very much Spanish, colonial, Mediterranean. We're talking white walls with uh, natural wood colors or dark wood beams. Um, pottery, earthy, muted tones. And I have to tell you, the more I looked into this style, I thought, this is so me. I used to love the Tuscan style, but if I were to style my home with all of those rich, earthy colors, it would look rather dated. Not necessarily if done correctly, but with this more muted, earthy tones, mixed with pottery and dried florals and pops of color here and there, not all over the place, just subtle pops of color mixed with all that stuff I just told you about. Lots of textural architectural elements such as iron, metals, woven baskets, pillows with texture, throw blankets with texture. When you mix all of those things together, it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous. I went out to the garage the other day and it was like farmhouse, 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 signs, this, that, and the other. And I, I literally took a stack and I set them aside and I am doing away with it. Bye-bye. One thing about me is I love to change my style. I love lots of different styles. So I'm not pigeonholing myself into this one style. However, I think that is going to drive what I do here in the house right now. I, I really didn't think I was going to like the white walls, but I've had color on the walls for years, like the beigey, grayy kind of color, and, and I'm just so tired of it. I'm just tired of it, and I'm loving the splash of white mixed with the dark woods, mixed with beiges and creams and different shades of brown and green. I just love it. So let's talk about some new pieces. This is a new piece. After I watched Holly from Simply Lake and Lace, she purchased this display cabinet and I believe she painted the doors black and she did rough and buff or something like that on the handles. But once I got it into the house and I noticed how well it, it went with the dining room set, I thought, no, I've got to leave it alone. It just matches perfectly. So let me take you down, let me take you over there, and let me show you what I did. Okay, so first of all, here's our set from the other house. Now, I know many of you might be saying, Liz, put an area rug down. 
I just am loving no area rug with my dining room tables. Number one, if you drop food, you don't want it falling on a on a piece of carpet. Now I know carpet is grounding. It's it's a grounding piece, but in all honesty, when you don't have a rug there, it feels much more open and airy. And I, I just like that look better, quite honestly. Also too, here are the new curtains I got from Amazon and I am in love. And I went with a more modern pole because this house has modern elements in it. So I wanted to keep it all kind of cohesive, but um, I'm loving this look so much. Now these are beautiful curtains. I just love them. Now this is, I think the gray color and I also got a brown, I think it was a brown or beige. I'll have to go look. Those are gonna go either upstairs or in my den, but I love these. They are blackout curtains but you can see they're lying nicely on the outside. So from the street, you're not gonna see the pattern. It's just gonna look more neutral, but I love how it looks in the house and how it ties in with my decor. And I'm sorry about the lighting. It's, it's very bright in the house right now, but I love how this table set ties in with the curtains. I just think it's beautiful. And I bought some wood blinds for this window, but Ultimately, I don't think I'm gonna put them up. I just, I love the open airy feeling. Now again, in talking about Santa Barbara style, you know, you have the white mixed with the rich, warm, you know, tones. So I love these placemats. I shared these with you already, but I love the textural element it adds here on the kitchen island. Also too, you know, metals and woods and pottery and, and, and all of that is very prevalent in that style of decor. Now here's that adorable curio cabinet that I got from World Market. And let me show you how I decided to style it. So in here, I put a little lamp. I always have to have some sort of lighting element. Um, I had my husband drill a hole back there. So to kind of conceal that, I put some greenery. I have a cutting board in a little easel. And then I brought in some pottery and this little finial that I kind of tipped on its side. And then down below, super simple, just a little cloche with a moss ball, a basket, adding in that texture a little plant and another little finial just tipped on its side. Down here, I have these decor books. Love these, absolutely love them. I'll link them below. I just placed those there. And this amazing candle that I love. We'll talk more about that in just a moment. This old world looking pottery. This with some greenery in it. So really, that's how I styled it and I love it. So right here, you can see I brought my white Bassett sofa and then my two chairs also from Bassett. And I was like, oh my gosh, how are these gonna work with all the white walls and the, and the dark doors and all that? I love it. The way I think I've made it work is with the pillows and the throw blankets. So let me take you down and show you. Well, first of all, I love this pillow. And just so you guys know, if you guys have an Ashley furniture, sometimes they'll have an Ashley outlet. And in that store, you can go and look at the display furniture and usually take it right off the showroom floor and you can get the furniture at a fraction of the cost. Now also too, Ashley outlet sells a plethora of they're beautiful sofa pillows that go with their really nice, um, some of their high-end sectionals. And I found this, this this goes to a really nice sectional set and you can buy these pillows. It was like $20 a pillow. Yes, it's a little costly, but you guys, the quality, the pattern, it's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. These are those soft, muted, earthy colors. And I think with the the dark wood in the walls, it just works. And then on the sofa, I paired it with these pillows that I got from Walmart. And I love the textural element. 
on the pillow with the little fringe. And then, and then I paired it with this pillow in the middle. So I think all of those pillows go really well together. So when you walk in, it's, it's beautiful, it's inviting and casual and laid back. That's the look I'm going for is casual and laid back. And so that's what it looks like. And then moving over here, we have this chair with the coordinating pillow over here. And I hung curtains, you guys, I hung them over here. And what I did was I only put one there and one there. I don't want one there and one there. It will close it in. So I really like it. It just kind of frames the window and adds a pop of subtle color. And then over here, I came in with a blanket that adds warmth with the pillow. I just kind of laid it across the center, but I, I love that look. And we decided to get this area rug from Lowe's. And then over here, we have the coordinating one at the front door. And you know, it's just, it has um, a little bit of the blacks, the beiges, the grays, and the whites. So when you come over here, it ties in nicely with the pillows. It's just a nice textural look here. So real quick, I'm really, really into coffee table books right now. And I, I've had a lot of fun looking through these books, gathering lots of inspiration. I found this book on Amazon and it's called At Home and evocative and art forward interiors. So I really like the look of this book as well as the side of it. And the inside has some beautiful uh, photos and inspiration. So I really like this book. Now, if you guys have been following me, you know that I love coastal decor and it's because of where I grew up. I just, I love coastal decor. So I found this book on Amazon. It's called A Summer Place, Living by the Sea. It's a beautiful coffee table book. You can see what it looks like on the side. And the pictures are gorge. They're just absolutely gorgeous. Um, loads and loads of inspiration in here. They have a lot of pretty, pretty pictures in this book. Love it. Now, as you guys know, coffee table books can be expensive. So one way I like to sometimes save a few dollars is by buying used. Now I got this book used. It was a little frumpy around the edges, but it is a hard cover. So I could just take the, the top off and it's still like a beautiful book, but it's called Great Houses of the South. I think Southern homes are some of the best well-built homes ever. And so I, I've always been inspired by Southern homes, Southern style as well. And this, this book is a lot of fun, a lot of color, a lot of trim work, just beautiful. Beautiful different Southern style homes and their interiors. And that's what it looks like with the, uh, with the paper cover over it. But like I said, I'll probably take it off. Now it's beautiful underneath, very neutral. So it'll go great with my decor. Now, I will be honest, sometimes I buy books just because I like the way they will look stacked amongst other books. Now this one's called Emily Henderson Styled. But again, I love the way this looks. So um, anyway, inside it's got a lot of beautiful decor photos. Very much a mix of different decor styles. And then I decided to get this book. It's called The Principles of Pretty Rooms. And again, I loved the look of it on the outside and the side. I always have to love how it looks on the side too. But um, this one is really, really pretty, you guys. They have a lot of gorgeous photography in here. Um, just, this is a good one. I love it lots of pretty pictures to get inspiration from. Then I got Living with Nature, decorating with the rhythms of the seasons. So it looks like that on the front. Love how it looks on the side and just beautiful photography on the inside. 
And then I got one more book, you guys. I was on a book kick the other day. I just said, want some different kind of inspiration. Then I saw this book and I thought this would be adorable in the kitchen on my marble easel. And this one is called The Art of Picnics, Seasonal Outdoor Entertaining. Love the cover. And that's what it looks like on the side. It is just beautiful, beautiful photography, grilled shrimp skewers. They have different recipes for picnics through the seasons. Summer recipes, something for everyone in this book. So over here, I have these beautiful faux artichokes that I got on Amazon and I styled them in this stone planter. <laughs> And then right in my cabinet here, there's some small space right there. So I thought that's perfect for books. So I set those there. And then right here, I set my books just like that. And then I put some florals on top. And over here on my little kitchen easel, I have the art of picnics. I want to share with you these dried florals I got on Amazon. I am in love with them. Um, they're really, really pretty looking. And let me tell you a little something about them. Love this look here in the house. Now I will tell you something about these dried florals. When you get them and you take them out of the package, you're going to go, yuck, what is that smell? It smells like if you've ever had fish and you get the little fish food uh, to feed the fish, that's what it smells like. It's not a pleasant smell. However, what I did was I took them outdoors. <clears throat> I let them sit in the sun. Smell is gone. You can't even smell it now. So don't let the reviews deter you because I saw that on the reviews and I'm like, oh, do I dare get those? I mean, I don't want something that smells bad. Sometimes dried florals have their own distinct scent. So anyway, just stick them out in the sun, let the air kind of get to them. You won't even smell it, I promise. But what I will tell you is I'm loving the dried florals as opposed to the like the faux greenery. It just, I feel like it's kind of elevating the look here in the house um, and you'll see it. I put them in various spots. So anyway, I really love this look and this is a little pot. I think I got it um, Hobby Lobby and then I just got this on Amazon, a little candle snuffer and um, I just sat it on here as a decorative detail. Now these are something new from Amazon. I just bought these beautiful taper candle holders from Amazon. They're really, really pretty, very nice quality. They come packaged really cute and beautifully. So you won't be disappointed, but you can see you can put a taper candle in there. They're rather big and I've put one on a riser. So it's, it's just a tad higher than this one, um, but I love these. And then what I did was I got my little LED taper candle, a little push button right here, and boom. I don't know if you guys can tell, you have light. And these look so pretty at night. I'll, I'll insert some pictures from nighttime. But here I've, I'm putting this one on a black riser. One of the black risers I made with my X-Tool machine. And I'll put this one in. And this one will sit a little bit lower, but I love this look. Very Santa Barbara style. I've been seeing girls all over YouTube get this planter. I liked it so much. I ordered one, liked it so much. I got a second one. I will tell you, it came a little bit chipped here and here. But I don't know, to me, it just adds to that rustic look. And I am a rustic girl at heart. But these are very heavy. They're just beautiful. And this is how I'm displaying it here on this table. So you can see the planter right here. Then I've got a pair of decorative beads with the little tassels. I am just gonna set this in here like this. 
So right here you see the dried florals and this candle snuffer. And then I have these two candles in the candle holders. Like I said, these are beautiful. Very, very good quality. And moving over here, I've got the planter with some decor beads. Very simple, but it makes a statement. And then moving over here, I have this rustic scooped riser. And on top of it, I have this candle holder that's black with gold right here. And then, and then if you guys watch Your Home, Your Happy Place, I'll put a picture of her channel right here. Debbie, Debbie, if you're watching, I'm copying you because you highly recommended this candle. It's called Innis. I clicked on her link and she was right. It smells amazing. So I highly recommend this and it's, it's just a very beautiful, simplistic candle that would go great anywhere in your home. And so I just decided to sit it here. I am very particular about the scents that go into my home. And I don't like things that are super overpowering. They have to be subtle, beautiful, beautiful scent. And I, if you guys are familiar with the Westin Hotel, they diffuse this beautiful smell throughout their hotel called white tea. And I actually diffuse that in my house. I am a huge, huge fan of white tea. I'll link it down below. Um, I'm not showing you that diffusing oil today, but what I am going to show you is this candle I found on Amazon. And then I'm gonna show you some hand soaps I got that are just amazing. This candle is by Urban Concepts and the scent is white tea and bamboo. I thought I would take a chance and try it. It comes packaged so cute, you guys. I wish I had saved the package, but it, it says like uh, Urban 16 or something on the box. And then you get this little cork top with a bow on it. It smells so good, so good. So high end, so luxe. So I'm a huge fan of this candle and I'm gonna be linking everything below. But if you're looking for a subtle but beautiful high end scent in your home, I like this one. Now we're in the kitchen. I wanted a hand soap that smelled amazing. And so I thought, I wonder if there's a white tea hand soap. And I found one and I was like, yes. And so I read the reviews and I decided to take a chance and get it. So let me show you what I picked up on Amazon. First of all, let me show you this real quick. I saw this little white marble tray. I thought it was marble. It's, it's like plastic, but it looks kind of like marble. Sort of, you know, I got it. I was like, eh, it looks plastic. But then I decided to get these little um, scrub brushes. They come in a set of, I think three, and it comes with this little white um, holder for it. So I put it on here. And then, like I said, I found this hand soap in the Westin Hotel Hand Wash White Tea. If you guys haven't tried this, you need to because you will be in love. My husband washed his hands yesterday and I'm like, you smell so good. What did you put on? He's like, it was that hand soap, I guess. And I'm like, and then I had to come try it and I, I'm in love. I will forever be buying this product. Amazing. But anyway, this is how it sits here in the kitchen. White tea by Weston. You've got to get it. So I don't know about you guys, but I love beautiful hand soaps in my bathrooms. And I came across this one. It's by Soap Box. It's called Sweet Orange Citrus. And I decided to take a chance, but look how cute it is. It's, it's perfect for spring and summer. And I've got little pops of yellow all over my house. So I thought, isn't that cute? But you guys, this smells luxe. It smells so good. Almost like the white tea, a little bit of a different scent, but so good, so good. So I literally have these in every bathroom. This was a little more pricey, so I will buy these just for the kitchen, but I highly recommend all of these soaps, so good. 
And you can get these on Amazon and I think you get them in a set of three. I'm not sure, but again, I'll link everything below. So with the Santa Barbara design style, again, lots of pottery, lots of planters, lots of rustic pieces. So I found this at Ross, it's huge, it's huge. I love it, it's fairly inexpensive. My plan is to fill this with a whole bunch of faux artichokes. I just think it's gonna elevate the space and be a really pretty statement piece here on the island. Let me show you something else I found. This is Adorbs. Adorbs, I found this on Amazon. I thought it was so cute. Totally going with my little Santa Barbara design style look and feel. And I thought rather than using this crock, I could use this to put my spatulas and rolling pin in. I have all my stuff in this crock, which is actually really cool. I got this at Home Goods. But anyway, I'm thinking I'm going to plop these in the new one. I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, I really like this one. My eyes keep going to this one. I might be able to do something cute with that. Maybe do an arrangement somewhere. I think that's what I'm going to do. This stays. In going with my sort of rustic look that I'm going for, look what else I found on Amazon. I found these two really cute marble, I'm gonna call them salt and pepper sellers, but I love these. And what I decided to do was this. So right here I have a cutting board and I thought, I will take a little black candle holder from Hobby Lobby, boom, set that on top. That will let me know that's pepper. And then this one will be salt. Now, isn't that kind of a cute, different look as opposed to that? I feel like it just sort of elevates the look a little bit more. It's more grown up. I saw this on Amazon and I thought it was adorbs. It's like a little pear. Isn't that cute? This is how I'm going to decorate with it. We've got the little cookbook there and we've got a little pear here just as a backdrop. I just think it's really, really cute. Now up here is a new little piece I got from Amazon read the dimensions because I didn't this time and I'm like that's it that's so small but you know what now that I have it here I, I've got to get out of the frame of mind that bigger is always better because it's not necessarily and sometimes these I like to call them smalls my small decor pieces actually fit better when you vary the heights and the dimensions so anyway I like this let me show you so it's this adorable little black pitcher and when I put it up there, I'm like, what am I gonna do with that? What am I gonna do? So I went out to the garage and I grabbed some of my greenery and I just kind of plopped it on the inside. It kind of looks like herbs. So it's perfect for a kitchen display. And I just like the pop of black mixed with the white. One thing I did decide to do was elevate. I was like, something is not looking right up there because I had this sitting down below. Felt like I needed some height right there. So I added this rustic little riser to elevate my pitcher. And I, I feel like it looks so much better now. So I'm very happy with it. Next, I was looking for some artwork on Amazon that was relatively inexpensive. And I came across these. Now, I would say it's not super great quality, but I'm all about getting something that looks a little more high-end, but it's not, the price isn't high-end. So, you know, you kind of get what you pay for, but I'm happy with them. So don't get me wrong, they're, they're still in the plastic. Um, it comes in a set of four. So I got this one, this one, 
this one and this one. So you do get a set of four. I, I just love it. And what I love to do is mix the black with something rustic. I like to mix like an architectural detail over the top of it to give it interest. Or I like to add a little rustic shelf beneath the pictures. So it's like a pop of rustic with, with this. So I plan to do that sometime this week. I don't know where I'm gonna place these, but there was a bonus when I got these. Let me show you. So after I opened it, I'm like, what's that in the box? It looks like more prints. So I'm gonna check it out and see what, what these are. Okay, so how cool is this? You get another set of four prints. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, they all coordinate together. So certainly if you get bored of that look and you wanna change it out, this is like, this is like a bonus, you guys. They're very neutral, of course. So you've got this one, then this one, this one, and lastly, this one. I didn't read that you get, you know, bonus ones with it. So I love that. Speaking of coffee, I got a set of four mugs. They come in a coffee holder. I'll put a picture of what it looks like right there. I highly recommend these. These are really fun to drink out of. They're very soft and smooth. And um, I, I just needed some extra coffee mugs. I think you can get these in different colors, but I went with the white, but they all kind of coordinate up there next to the coffee maker. And you can see in there, I've got some black ones with little stir sticks. And then I've got different white ones up there, but I've got two more in the dishwasher. So the new ones I got, they're actually lar a little bit larger than those. You can get these in white, gray, and black. And then, like I said, I just got those and I love them because they're a little bit bigger. And lastly, I wanna show you these. I just got these on Amazon and I think they are so cute. Two little vases, they come with the rope, and then if you flip them around, that's what they look like. So no matter how you place them on a table, they're gonna look cute. I got this on Amazon, it's beautiful quality. And again, it's going with my style that I love so much. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna set this up on top of my kitchen cabinets, but I'm gonna tip it kind of like this. So when it's sitting up high, it looks like there's rosemary inside the bowl. So I love this look. I think this video is getting long, so I will hold off on the other curtains I got and the rods and I'll show you probably on Friday. Maybe we'll throw them up um, in one of the rooms so you can really see how great they look. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the direction I'm going in with my decor. I have yet to style the upstairs, but the downstairs is, it's just about done, just about. Thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it so very much and I will see you guys Friday. Mwah! Bye guys. Thank you.